Leo Labs Visualization Tool, a window to Leo. We're looking into Leo Labs Innovative Tool. It offers an interactive glimpse into the bustling world of low Earth orbit or Leo. Discover satellites, debris, and more in real time. It's an exciting and insightful look at our planet's surroundings. I'm Huey Poplock. This is part of the series of Website of the Week. This is number 24, Leo Labs Visualization Tool. Understanding Low Earth Orbit, or LEO. The LEO region extends up to 2,000 kilometers, or 1,200 miles, from the Earth. It's home to the ISS, the communication satellites, and debris. And it's a crowded space. Understanding LEO is crucial for space activities. The insightful website by LEO Labs, uh, it helps us visualize what's happening in space around our planet. This tool is called Low Earth Orbit Visualization Tool. It offers an interactive way to view satellites, space debris, and other objects orbiting the Earth. This is what the tool looks like. You'll notice there are some settings that you can have. You can show debris, which we're not showing right now. I will show you a, a picture of that just mo in moments. And the beams are the items that are here, and I'm not quite sure what that shows. And then uh, you can have instruments uh, you can follow the Earth and auto-refresh. Right now, we're showing the object type. They are up here. Payload, rocket body, debris, and unknown. And I'm going to show you a little bit more on those kind of th things as well. The tool's core purpose is satellite tracking. It shows the real-time satellite positions. Debris monitoring tracks distribution and movement of space junk. An educational resource teaches about space and orbital objects. All the purple is space debris. Unbelievable. Interactive map feature. Real-time positions. Objects move dynamically on the map. Global view. See objects orbiting from different regions and easy to use. You can navigate the map with simple controls. We're going to be doing that in just a few minutes. Object information feature. You can have detailed data, origin details, and orbit paths. So the search functionality, you can enter a name or an ID of a specific object. There are instant results. Tool quickly locates that object, and you can track the path. Follow its orbit around the Earth. Here we're looking at the perigee, and that's the distance of the lowest point closest to the Earth. Visualizing debris clouds. There's known events, Cosmos 1408, and implications understanding the impact of such events. Again, the debris, as well as all of the satellites that are in the sky. The importance is space safety. We see the active satellites, the space missions, and how to avoid collisions. A tool enables collision avoidance. It enhances the safety for active satellites. It helps to secure future space missions. Informing space policy. De debris issues need for regulation and policy makers. Data aids policy decisions. It highlights the debris threat and it promotes the creation of new space regulations. Here we're seeing the degree of inclination. So a raising public awareness with space, human impact, and complexity. The tool educates the public. It shows human activities impact, and it explains the space complexities, and it fosters greater appreciation. Here we put in the search for Starlink. So these are just Starlink satellite showing in green. Now we're showing the actual video of 
what you're going to see when you go to the website. You can, right now we're looking at Starlink. That's with the debris. And we'll turn the debris off so you can see where the satellites are. So if you're using Starlink, you have an idea of where the different satellites are located. If you know the satellite you're interested in, you can actually find one and then track a particular satellite. But you can see how much across even Florida, how many satellites are in the area on a regular basis. Now let's go over to the West Coast. And you can see all of the satellites in that area. These are the Starlink satellites now, not other satellites. This is just Starlink. And now let's take a look at the rest of the world where Starlink is. As we move the globe around, we can see where the satellites are mostly located. You can see all the oceans are well covered, but the very northern and very southern tips of the Earth are not covered extensively, but there's still satellites that are crossing those paths. So if you're living on a ship on a regular basis, you'll know what areas are going to be well covered by Starlink and which ones you may have some issues in getting reception. So it's, you can do this with the website as you wish. So the Leo Labs, so the Leo Labs tool, the key takeaways are you can track satellites, you can monitor debris, and you can educate all. It's invaluable for space enthusiasts, provides a window into space activity, and it helps us appreciate modern world complexities. This has been Leo Labs Visualization Tool, a window to Leo. I'm Huey Poplock.